Visiting one of your stories tonight, family members of uh, people buried at a historic cemetery on Tipperary Hill are still bothered by overgrown grass there. At first, they were encouraged by what appeared to be a breakthrough in Andrew Donovan's report three weeks ago. It was one of those things where it almost had to get that bad before something was going to get done about it. After a year of trying, the Sexton finally got a meeting at City Hall. The cemetery will provide the equipment, but the city code staff will cut the grass. Without their help, we it would have been a very difficult uh, take on, uh, to take on. Um, but the fact that they had the equipment and we were able to hire some summer helpers, give them a job for the summer as part-time help, um, it really isn't that much of an additional burden. So how much have the crews actually mowed up at the cemetery? News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan returns to the scene where he finds out not much. Joe Lease doesn't work for the city or Myrtle Hill Cemetery, yet he's spending his morning mowing it. It's the way we would like to see it maintained, but we do it ourselves. About 20 sites that I mow. You've become like the substitute caretaker of a lot of graves. Right, driving from Wheatsport. Joe makes the drive with his longtime partner, Melanie Harris. She trims around the headstones of 20 family members, her grandparents, her aunt, and her father. Melanie's mother plans to be buried next to him. Heaven forbid if anything happened to her, um, I wouldn't want to bring her up here in a cemetery that looks like this. It's better than the knee-high grass a private company hired by the city cut down on June 14th. Since the cemetery sexton tells me she hasn't seen the mowers she loaned to the codes department getting used. Most of the cemetery has obviously been mowed since we first visited here, but there are portions that obviously haven't been. The grass along the fence line at this point looks like brush. It doesn't appear to have been mowed once. A Syracuse spokesperson says the extra help hired just for this work didn't finish orientation until today and will begin mowing this week. He points out the city is stepping in to help with a responsibility that belongs to the cemetery board, which can't afford it. For the relatives, that help can't come soon enough. Instead of focusing on my relatives, we're focusing on getting it mowed and, you know, we shouldn't have to do that. But they'll keep mowing until the city does. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. And if you have a question for the Your Stories team, give us a call. The number 315-446-9900. You can also send us an email to yourstories at localsyr.com or post to social media using the hashtag yourstories.